Hello my dear students, welcome to your very own faculty driven institute resultant. Hope you guys are fine. So guys, today we will be talking about the subject wise weightage over the years for your civil engineering and what are the subjects which you have to focus more and what are the subjects which you cannot skip all the things we will be dealing in today's session. So why to wait? Let's start the session quickly. Before that, uh, welcome back again. And if you are new and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then kindly do so and share the session, like it with your friends as well. So don't know about me, can go through my profile and now we'll talk it about before talking about the weightage analysis. Let's quickly talk about the various sections, the pattern, each and everything. So here you'll be having general aptitude in this English and aptitude portions will be there. Then you will be having engineering mathematics and then you'll be having core civil engineering technical subjects. After that number of portions which you'll be getting will be 65, number of marks will be 100. Total time will be 3 uh, hours. Okay, so sufficient time will be there for one portion, more than 3 minutes you'll be having. And the mode of examinations will be online, so there'll be no OMR sheet for filling the circles and as all. Type of questions will be multiple choice questions, multiple select question and numerical answer type question. For multiple choice question, if it is a one marks question, if you do it wrong, you'll be getting one by three negative marking. If two marks question is there and if you do it wrong, you'll be getting two by three negative marking. However, there is no negative marking for MSQ and NAT. Talking next in this category, guys, and one more thing, guys, you think that, oh, one marks is gone. No, if one marks question, you do it wrong, it's the one marks which has gone plus one by three marks for not doing it correctly. So that how much marks you are scoring out of that also one by three is gone. Similarly, if two marks questions, you are doing it wrong. It's not the two marks which has gone. It's two plus two by three marks which has gone. Okay. Now, next coming further is what are the syllables? So here you'll be having engineering mathematics, structural engineering in that your strength of materials, RCC, steel, and your structure analysis, each and everything is there. So don't think that ma'am missed anything. No, I haven't. Then geotechnical engineering, water resource engineering, your hydrology, irrigation portion is there. Environmental engineering, transportation engineering, in which your highway, railway, airport is included. Then geomatics engineering, surveying, building materials, CPM port is there. Okay, now talking about the weightage analysis over the years. So I'll be focusing on the analysis of 24 and 23 so that you can get an idea that how much marks it is coming. Aptitude and mathematics is generally fixed. So generally aptitude is fixed, 15 marks. Okay, uh, now let's talk it about that, uh, about the, I'll take, I'll take a look at some. Number of questions, 10. Number of questions, 10. Actually, 5 questions will be there for 1 marks and 5 questions will be there for 2 marks. So, total it will make how much? 15 marks. Talking next is your engineering mathematics. So, engineering mathematics, set 1 questions were uh, 7. Number of uh, marks was 9. Set 2 questions were 8. Number of marks was 11. Structure engineering is comprises of strength of material, structure analysis, RCC and all those things. Everything. Okay. So, don't think that I'm talking about only theory of structures. Toss. Okay, 13 questions were there and it comprised of 90 marks. So, this is like you can say 19 percentage also because out of 100 marks, 19 percentage is for your 100 percent, 19 percentage is for your structure analysis, 15 percent is for your general aptitude, 9 percentage is for your mathematics. Similarly, 13 percent is for what? 13 percent is for your geotechnical engineering, 15 percent is for your water resource engineering. Okay, next coming further. If I talk it about further, that here you will be having uh, next, if I talk it about in set 2, similarly 11%, 21%, 13%, 12%. Clear? Now, next if I talk further in water resource, you will be having fluid mechanics and all also. Fine. So, if you talk about environmental engineering, 11% you can say that is there in your set 1 and 10% is there in your set 2. Transportation engineering, 11, 11% in both the sets. Geo Matrix engineering 7% in both the sets. Okay, so this is the one. So the ones which you cannot leave it like obviously you can't leave anything, but uh, uh, like core subjects, if you talk about environment, uh, then uh, highway portion, <coughs> excuse me, geotech portion, you cannot leave it. Okay, these are the important ones which you have to keep in mind. And aptitude is by default, you have to keep in mind. You can't uh, leave that subject. Similarly, this is fixed. 
generally even mathematics is fixed also that 15 marks is for your aptitude and 13 marks is for your mathematics okay so see 15 this is the patent one you have a section in which aptitude five portions one marks five portions two marks is six engineering mathematics 13 marks we are also set to also 13 marks Structural engineering, this was more here, the weightage was more, 20% you are having it. Geotechnical engineering, 16% weightage is there, okay, in both the sets, uh, you can say. Water resource engineering, 13%, this was reduced in the previous year. And after that, if I talk it about environmental engineering, this was more, which was reduced in this year. Okay, so 13% in set 1 also and set 2 also. Transportation here, there is no change. Both the sets, you are getting same amount. While there was change in the variation of marks in gate seat this year, 2024. Okay, so as of such, like if you are talking about the subjects which you cannot miss, that environment, geotechnical engineering, highway engineering, general aptitude, mathematics. First of all, these five subjects, because right now you are starting from the very July. Okay, so uh, these subjects, environmental engineering, if you let us suppose you are like the first I should cover heavy weighted subjects. So, uh, geotechnical engineering, highway engineering, environmental engineering, aptitude and mathematics, you can do it. I will say that aptitude, basically do it at the time when you are done with technical. You are like, I'm saturated. I can't study technical anymore. I'm done with it. So right now, if you have that, no, I can't study any technical things. You are saturated. That time you can go for aptitude because it's like a refreshment. Okay, that comes with it. So you don't need to remember anything. You just have to apply your brain. There's nothing that you have to retain. That's the basic common sense uh, things which you have to apply to get the answer. So that's very, very obvious. So generally I used to do it. So when I'm done with technical and like I'm having the time. So instead of wasting my time in the mobile phones, just uh, watching reels and all those things rather. And that will land me to nothing. Rather than I, if I practice aptitude portions or let us suppose, let me give a test series only. Practice aptitude. If you don't know anything, then you can purchase a book and solve portions on trains, speeds, distance. And then allegations and mixtures. There are a lot of things. Probabilities there. Permutation combinations is there. A lot of things are there. Otherwise, if you are good, if you have the basic knowledge of aptitude and you are like, no, I can't uh, study chapter wise. Rather, I'll take a mixture of portions and solve it. Then you can, uh, till now, I guess you might have purchased the test series. You can go and give the test series. That will also be a good thing for you. Okay, so that thing also you can do it. So, um, aptitude, I don't think you need to give a separate timing. Rather, when you're done half an hour, one hour, just for your mood refreshment, that is also more than sufficient. Engineering, mathematics, generally what students do, you are okay with anything if you are. Generally, first by October ending or November mid, they complete uh, their whole technical subjects. And after that, like 15th of November, let's take the maximum. Generally, by 31st of October, you should complete your syllabus. But let us suppose you complete it by 15th of November. So the next 15 days, okay, from 16th of November to 30th of November, what you can do is you can uh, go for uh, basically the uh, next 15 days, you can go for mathematics. So in 15 days, that is more than sufficient. You will be, if, even if you started from scratch, you'll be able to cover the entire engineering mathematics. So either if you want the studying with a combination of subjects, you can parallelly complete it. Or if you want that first, you should go for technical subjects and afterwards when your whole technical subjects is over, or just one, two minor subjects are remaining, that time also you can go for engineering mathematics. Both are okay. Okay, you can go for any approaches. Next, if I go for further, so marking scheme, as I told you, general aptitude, five portions, one marks, five portions, two marks. Uh, engineering mathematics, seven portions, one marks, three portions, two marks. Four civil engineering, uh, 18 portions, one marks and 27 portions, two marks. Okay, this is the total. Overall, if you check it out, 30 portions are of one marks and 35 portions are of two marks. So, this makes 65 portions, number of portions and 100 marks. Okay, so this is one mark portion and two marks portion. Okay, 15 marks for aptitude, it is fixed. Generally, mathematics also comes for 13 marks. For civil engineering, you'll be having 18 portions, one marks and 27 portions, two marks. So, 72 marks is fixed for your technical. Okay, so yeah, technical, obviously, since you are appearing for that uh, very disciple, technical is important. So yeah, you need to focus on technical, but you cannot leave aptitude and engineering mathematics because they are also the deciding factor in your answer. 
okay so this was regarding the civil engineering subjects which you should focus more first go for the core subjects which have a higher weighted so that at the very end you don't have the burden that oh my god i have started with the petty subjects now all the bulky subjects are remaining because if you leave it for october november and july august september you have wasted it okay studying only two or three very lesser weighted subjects then guys you will be having a lot of you can say headache that i haven't completed and lot of things are pending rather right now if you're starting start from heavy weighted subjects so that at the end you don't have that bulky things remaining okay rather in an easy breezy manner you'll be able to complete them okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the session and we'll meet you in the next session till then if you want me to make videos on any other topic kindly do let me know and we'll see you later thank you everyone